everybody, welcome to my channel. And today we have Miss Carly, the beautiful baby, giant baby. Are you a giant baby? Yeah. Uh, today I just wanted to give you guys some really cool tips uh, for some things that myself and some other people have done for the Babysit Me app, as well as I got a new pram and a few really cool little things that I thought was like, it was just like a light bulb went off in my brain and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, I can totally do this and it will just work. So let me show you the first thing that I'm really excited about, which is baby sunglasses. I know you're like, why is that so cool, baby sunglasses? It is like revolutionary. You can put sunglasses on a sleeping reborn baby and then sit them up in their pram and it's like they're awake, but they have little sunglasses on. Ah, isn't that so cool? I'll show you what I got. These little sunglasses from Big W and I was like unsure if they were gonna fit. So what I did is I bought them home and I, I knew that you could like fold them out, but I didn't realize you could fold them all the way out. So it's kind of like they're an open pair of sunglasses. So I slid them onto Liberty's face like this. And I put them on and I thought that they sat really funny because my sunglasses, the little piece in the middle goes right over my nose. And when I put them on there, they were sitting really high. But I think these ones are like designed to go right up here. like. If you see inside, there's like the little nose parts here and that's where your nose gets held. So there's supposed to be like a space in between. Do you know what I mean? I'll test her out, like put her sitting upwards in the pram, maybe like facing forward with like little sunglasses and I'll see if she looks like she's awake. And if so, this could just be the biggest game changer. I'll like be able to take her for walks and stuff like Oh no, it's gonna be winter soon in Australia. Not really, like we still have a few months left, but I feel like summer just went so quick. <laughs> but yeah, so sunglasses, if you have sleeping babies and they're a little bit bigger, I feel like I wouldn't put sunglasses on like a newborn or maybe even a zero to three month baby because they're just so like still little. Even Liberty, she's like three to six months, so she's two knots in her clothes, some three knots if I squeeze around them. Yeah, I feel like they can be a little bit older and awake, but they're still not moving, so we need to, that's my foot! Why would you just lick someone's foot? <laughs> Were you not getting attention? <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I feel like someone, uh, like an older baby, and they were $12 if they fit, it will be amazing. You want your toy? Hey, I'm giving it to you. Sit. Lie down. Lie down. Down. We're not sh fine. Shake. Give me your hand. Shake. Good girl. And your other one? Other one? Good girl. Lie down. That's your toy. You're so good. It's like a little stuffed dog and it's got a donut from either Marshalls or when I went to America. And so that was what she got and she's been really good at looking after it. One side of the donut's actually broken. Did you break him? Yeah. She tried really hard to not break him. Yeah, you can't sit there and squeak that in the background of my video. You're not allowed to. They will all be really upset because they won't be able to hear me. Okay, good dog. No! No, these are not for you. Nope, not even close for you. You have your toy. Not yours. Not even close. Okay, next thing that we have with the Babysit Me app, we are all kind of trying to find different ways. The recommended speaker that I did recommend initially was the little baby talker box that still moments nursery sells. Now she is the only person that sells this box and what it is, it's a little box that has a cord coming out of it so you can cut a little hole in your body of your reborn baby, insert the box inside your reborn baby and the little cord comes out so you can add the little battery that's rechargeable, now they're coming as rechargeables 
and it's really cool. It's got a little remote that has all different sounds on it, as well as you can actually add Bluetooth onto the onto your phone, and then you can use the app Babysit Me and the sounds from the box. I'm so worried I'm just gonna knock the camera. Please don't, Carly. If you're looking at the black thing that's moving here, that would be a dog. And she really wants pats. Come here. Oh! Okay. Are you a big dog that needs pats in your life? Oh, you so big. You are gonna make me so itchy. I'm gonna need a shower. I need a shower because I've been patting you. Now, what's happened is just because of all shipping and everything at the moment, stuff's not being allowed into Australia, stuff's not coming out of countries, all of that stuff. Due to uh, the corona that's going around and parts are missing and the boxes have not come into Nikki, so she doesn't have any available right now. But there's other alternatives for people that uh, also don't have the money for one of those talker boxes, although I highly recommend. They are so cool. It's just like one thing is that it's quite expensive if you want to buy one per baby and I don't want to be like taking it out of one baby and putting it into another baby. Like I feel like that's just like a pain as well as all my babies actually have boxes in them already. So I don't want to be doing that. Their, their little box fits in them and it stays in them and I don't want to be pulling them apart. So our next idea that we've tried is one of the ladies on the Babysit Me Facebook page has actually put her little speaker inside of a stuffed toy. Uh, she actually put, sorry, it was her baby talker box inside of a stuffed toy and then the cord came out the back and she made a little pocket where you can put the battery pack in, which is awesome. I'm going to ask if I can put her video here and if she says yes. Hi, for the love of Reborns here, I'm going to have just a quick little video um, to show you a little bit about the baby talk box. And the baby talk box is here. You can hear I have a fussy baby. <laughs> if I can get a happier one. There we go. So I had the baby talk box in bin, but I wanted to use it in the other babies and I didn't want to buy one for each baby. So I took it out of bin and right now it's hanging in this little um, bag above the crib. It's pretty loud now that it's not inside the baby and I can use it with all the babies down here in the crib. I eventually want to see if I can put it inside this little guy and then he can sit here in the crib and I can use him on whoever or he can travel if I want to put him in a car seat or a stroller. Snoring. Hey, I've been doing some sewing. <laughs> Haven't finished. But the talk box is in here. And I'm gonna sew up the end back here so that this sits out. And then I'm gonna try to make a little pouch back here to hold this when it's in use. Hi, for the love of reborns here. And I just wanted to show you how my uh, baby talk box is working now that I've placed it um, inside this little toy right here. And it's really cute. I'm hoping you can hear it. It's snoring. So it sounds like the baby is sleeping and snoring. It's a little sound there. Anyway, I wanted to show you how it turned out. Oh, this is baby with upset tummy. So I put the box inside and then I fashioned a little pocket on the back. I'm not quite finished with it to put the 
the charger and I'm going to fix it hopefully. Oh, he's got gas <laughs> where, you know, you can't see it. This is just my first attempt. I have some other ideas, but for right now, that's how it turned out. Hi, my name's Jennifer and I have babysit me up and I absolutely love it. Now, yesterday I went to JB Hi-Fi and I picked up a very small speaker. Now, it's probably the size of a tennis ball, but it's only about, I don't know, an inch thick. And it said it's for three years and up, so it should be really easy to, to use. It's a Bluetooth device and I've put it into a little duck. Okay, so here is the duck. Now as you can see, I've opened him up from about neck right down to here. Now I've left the bottom bit open, as you can see, because it's got a USB port. So I need access to that if it go, when it goes flat. There are depressions on the side that you can turn on and off, add to blue, put Bluetooth on, or a special feature, a light. Now, most people would just see the duck as a toy in a baby's pram. They wouldn't take any notice of it whatsoever. And this one is very, very loud. Now, I have taken most of the stuffing out of his belly so that this fits in quite well. I was going to put it in his head, but I thought he'd fall over all the time. So, how easy is that? Hope you enjoy it. Bye. And then I made a version myself, which is a, a little speaker. So this speaker was just bought from Target and it's very small. You can see how small it is. Not for eating. You wanna eat it? It's a speaker, don't lick it. So it's just a little silver metal speaker. It's very easy to use. It has like one, this whole thing is a button. Okay, maybe I have to hold it down. So that's on. So one thing is I don't know how long it lasts. I don't know how long it was to charge. But I made a little lovey for these to go in. The first one I made, no eating the bears. Please, it's not yours, this is mine. The first one I made is the little pink one and I made two different versions. The first one I did was in the head. So in the head, I made a little pocket in here. It's not so in the best, I know. <laughs> but the speaker inside here and snap it up and then that will work. And then I made the blue one. So with the blue one, I put the pocket in his body instead of in the head. So the speaker goes in here and it snaps up. So they're both different ways and they're both pretty good. I mean, right now I can't even see the light shining through because of the material. But these were on sale just at best unless I wanted to just see if it was possible, how hard it was. It wasn't too hard, but at the same time, having the stuffing in here and sewing was, with a machine was really quite tricky. But it was definitely doable. It'll probably be held on my Instagram. Okay, let's install the speaker into the little pink there first. So it's kind of tight. I probably need to make it a little bit bigger, but honestly, for me, it works. It's fine. Not perfect, but you can see that it fits in there. And this is how you put it into the one in the belly. So this one is a lot bigger and it fits in a bit better, I think. I made this one second, so the snaps are a little more evenly lined. Not perfect, but for a little hideaway pocket in the back, you wouldn't know it was there. On and connected, I will turn the app on. Make sure my phone is on and volume is up. Press start, let's go to play mode and we'll go schedule one. If we put it next to Bob, we'll see how it works. That is so loud. That's too loud. But my point is that it comes from this area. If I was to move it, we know it's coming from the speaker. Oh my gosh, I need to turn it off. Let's turn it down. 
Okay. <laughs> that is so loud. Oh my gosh, too loud. That one says Chase is hungry. He doesn't have a name yet still. Okay, take three, I think this is. Schedule one. I've turned it like right down. Let's see where we're at for volume. It's on the first bar because it's so loud. But remember when we were outside, we could hardly hear it. As of right now, that's a lot better. Last time we were outside and we were trying to talk and listen and I couldn't hear him very well. We're really on the first bar on my phone. So let's see what happens. And now you can leave your phone over on the desk. But you kind of want to know where it is because it's going to need to tell you what baby wants unless you're really, really, really good and you have learned the sounds from I need to rock him. That's so cute. <clears throat> okay, so it needs to just be used on a really low setting. It doesn't need to be at a high setting unless you're outside. So I guess it just depends on adjusting. It doesn't have a volume on the actual speaker. It's just literally one button, which is really cool. So if it had some charge, I didn't have to worry about doing the buttons. I can just turn it off from in here because I can see when it turns off. I can hear him to see. So the blue button just turned off. Sorry, the blue light just turned off and I could hear with the speaker. And if I wanted to turn it on, hold on. And that like is saying I'm looking for Bluetooth and that says I found Bluetooth. It's so good. I love it. It's awesome. So it's just like a tiny little on clearance teddy that I found and it fits in there and it's really cute and awesome and if you didn't see my little pram collection that I've got going on here I got a new pram and it is the baby jogger city versa and I got a pink maxi cozy with it so this is actually my buff with the pink maxi and liberty and I love the buff with the pink maxi on it I just didn't like the buff uh, sorry, I didn't like the Versa with the pink maxi. I don't know why. But I really love the pink maxi on the black buff. It's so cute and I love Liberty in it. She's so cute in there. Look at her. I don't think I've ever had her in a capsule. And she just looks so good. I love it. And then, so here's the Versa. It is so high. Like... Look at it compared to the buffalo. Like the capsule difference is so high. He's like right there and she's all the way down there. I'm trying to like show you. Huge difference. Like it's so much higher up. It's light, but it's so sturdy. And I just, I love the Versa right now. Okay, so I chose like the cutest little outfit. I bought this for her the other day from my best one it was on sale and I had to have it so I bought it I like must do it I get it out for a while I'm always late so this is what it is <laughs> so I'm going to change her into this but I don't know if I should do it with a white shirt or a black shirt or white or a white shoes I really just don't know like what the whole
feel like we just have to do like one or the other. And I think black is not going to work with this. It has to be white. Let's take a photo of the black outfit for Insta and then we will continue with our white outfit for the finale. So I kind of fixed it by adding black dummy chain and a white dummy. Two of my friends and they said yes. <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to style it anyways. She just looks too little to have sunglasses on. <laughs> I do like the white though, definitely do. I have three little white pairs of shoes to choose from. And I was thinking a white headband, <clears throat> her white dummy, well dummy chain is this lady. And this has a pink dummy without a cover on it so I want to get rid of that dummy and not use it anymore. I just use it for a photo and then I kept it on her and I don't like to use them without uh, something covering them because it damages their paint. Let's like sit her in the pram and see if we can get away with this or not. I'm still leaving the tie on because I'm considering just like taking them back. Because <laughs> I thought that would be so cute, but I'm not sure anymore. Let's see. In the darkest corner of the room, <laughs> we have Liberty. Okay, so this is what we've got. Let's maybe take the hood off because you can see her a little bit better. No, you can see it worse now. I feel like it's better with that on. So she's got her little shoes, she's got her little outfit, her dummy, and her sunglasses, of course, with the case of all the plastic still on them. What do you guys think? Like, is that possible or not? Like, if the hood's down, maybe, like, it could be possible. Like, just looks like a little baby wearing sunnies, but I don't know. I don't think a baby that young would wear sunnies or keep them on, at least, anyways. What is your honest opinions? I feel like this is gonna go 50-50. Like it's cute, but she's so little. And I put the bow on, it was just way too much. So I took it off. Like the sunglasses, the dummy chain, and, this, and the dummy. I just like, and the shoes. Like that's so many like props that's going on right here. I don't know. <laughs> I saw this. They're way too big. So. I feel like I'm probably gonna take them back and see if I can, like I'll search around and find some smaller ones. But like maybe smaller ones will sit better on her. Cause they're just, with them like that, it's too big. I, I guess like if you walked past and you saw, would you not think that that's a doll? I feel like it's more like believable if she was just to be asleep and like lying down like that. That's so much more believable. I'm so sad that it didn't work out the way I liked it, like that I wanted it to. But also, oh, sorry, I'm stepping on the buff. <laughs> also, like that's the Versa facing forward and I just think it looks so cute facing forward. 
and I want to do like a few videos or outings where the prams are facing forward because I feel like you get more reactions instead of them all being like cooped up like in a capsule because that's not inviting for people to look in. So we want to like open it up and have people look in a little bit more. Maybe like have the hood off and they'll be able to see. And of course if she was sleeping we would not put her like that. We would have her like slouched. Maybe she would like sleep with her hand up. She would be like holding a toy. And she's on the middle setting. So probably she could sleep like that, but maybe like recline her one more setting. And she just looks really wrong like now. <laughs> she's just like everywhere. All right, I might not keep these. I might look for a smaller pair. They don't even have like a size on them, which is kind of sad. If you're in Australia and you know where you can get tiny baby sunglasses, please let me know. Not from Big W, because I already have this pair and they are too big. They were a really cute idea and I've never even thought of them before because I'm like, nope, they're too big. But if we can get a pair to fit Liberty, I would love a pair of sunglasses to fit Liberty, just for like something different. Okay, so like I propped her up a little bit and like put her how she would usually sleep. I didn't really add a blanket. Normally I'll have like a light blanket, but at the moment I don't have one on me. We're just gonna pretend like it's a really hot day. Anyway, she's fallen asleep. She's holding her little bear as normal. I changed her shoes to these because these are so cute. These are like the cutest oh, little bear. These are the cutest things on earth. They're a tiny bit big on like the, the outside, so normally they fit better with um, socks. But you could use my other little trick and put a sock in the bottom of it and it will push the shoe forward. I will show you that actually. I'm gonna put it in that way and put all the frilly bits at the toes hopefully and then it will make like a layer at the bottom so push your foot up. Let's try it. but this one has got like the sock in it, the stuffing in it, and it fits really well. Like it's actually on there tight now. And then this one does not have the filling in. You can see how it's kind of just loose. And I accidentally bought, oh, put up my heels. <laughs> I love that. I accidentally bought Belle, which just works perfectly. I do have her like princess liner there, but I guess that has yellow in it. Maybe I should put it in. I know, I was kind of feeling the feather liner today. It also has feathers on the back. And then this one is Princesses and Snow White. I love them. Okay, I think that's everything I really wanted to show you. I just kind of was having a bit of fun. I'm really bummed about the sunglasses because I just decided, as soon as I saw on the sides that they were like too long, I decided that it was just like a no-go and they weren't really gonna fit well. But, that's okay, I will continue to search for some more, but like because it, I feel like it's such a brilliant idea. Just that how many babies actually keep their sunglasses on? Not very many. It's definitely something that I will consider doing, just like as a bit of fun to like say, oh, she's awake now because she's always asleep. Don't get me wrong, I love my sleeping baby a lot. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a little bit of fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Liberty's not waving. Nope, she's just sleeping as normal. <laughs>